I'm not saying that none of the women hadn't, you know, been touched by or interested in what was happening in terms of the white, what we then those days referred to as the white women's movement. Um, we were very much in a minority in those spaces and quite often an afterthought, if at all. So there was all of that going on. Um, and I think, you know, our politics were formed by that because what makes black feminists or black womanists or whatever term we, we choose to identify with different and unique and separate from that broader women's movement is that we didn't have the luxury of navel gazing. We didn't have the luxury of introspection that allowed us simply to focus on patriarchy or male chauvinism or sexual politics. The dialogue between publications of the past and publications of the present is so important because I think there is a lot of uh, everything about our current time is about being an individual and the idea of writing work and you're not and your name not being on it and credit is so important but with that does come intense scrutiny of individuals and it's just so interesting that you had it anonymized and that really does make it about the message rather than it being a star vehicle for someone mm. who wants to make a career out of media mm. and i guess that's the difference between it it's you it's it's you deciding from the beginning what the purpose of the publication is um and i love galdem but i think galdem is slightly different things to different people